hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about kitchen cleaning and we are jumping right in i will be taking care of all those places in my kitchen that i don't clean on a daily or weekly basis but i try to take care of them at least once a month just so it doesn't get super bad you know what i mean all the build up in the kitchen cabinets and on top of the fridge i feel like my kitchen really needed this cleaning so we're gonna go ahead and take care of all of that on this video When I'm doing this type of cleaning, I like to start from the top down. So I'm starting with the top of my fridge, which could get super dirty if you guys don't check up there very often. So I'm wiping it down. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and wipe down all of my cabinets, which could also get really sticky if you cook a lot. So I am just using my microfiber towel and my Method multi-surface cleaner in the scent grapefruit just to wipe everything down before I move to all the counters. So once I'm done with all my cabinets, I'm gonna go ahead and move down to my counters. So the first thing I'm doing is just getting everything off of them so I could go ahead and wipe them down. So before I get started on the counters, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my microwave. This is a super easy hack to clean your microwave. You just grab a bowl and put some vinegar in it and then just put it in the microwave for about two minutes. And then once it comes off, all you have to do is wipe it down. Super easy, it takes care of any food that might be stuck in there. You guys might already know about this because a lot of people do it but I just started doing it and it does make life easier even though I do use a microwave cover which I highly recommend to keep your microwave from getting super dirty um, I do like to do this maybe once a month just to get rid of anything else that might be in my microwave so while I put that in there I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the counters and again I'm just using the multi-surface cleaner my German chamois and then I am just drying it all up with my microfiber towel from Grove. Once I've taken care of the counters, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my stove. I like to take the knobs of my stove when I'm doing any type of deep cleaning. Also, whenever I'm cooking and I feel that there's food splatter everywhere, I like to take this off. They're super easy and you just make sure that there is no buildup of food or grease underneath them. So once I take them off, I'm just wiping everything down. I'm also wiping the range or like the bottom part of my microwave because there could always be some food splatter there. So I make sure I wipe that down. And I also use the multi-surface cleaner to clean the top of my stove um, before I use the glass top polish. If your knobs are really bad, you could always put them under the sink and wash them with soap and water. This time mine weren't so bad, so I just went ahead and wiped them down and then I just put them back. And then the last thing I am doing here is polishing my glass top with this glass polish. I love this stuff. I like to use paper towels to do it because I just feel like it works best. So once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and finish the microwave. So to finish the microwave, all I'm doing is taking out the vinegar. I'm also taking out the tray because I just washed that in the sink. And then to finish it off, I am just using a little bit of the multi-surface cleaner and the German chamois to wipe everything down. Like I said, the vinegar pretty much takes care of anything that might be stuck in there. So all you really have to do is wipe it down. I like to use the multi-surface cleaner just to get rid of some of that vinegar smell. But once that's done, I just wash the tray in the sink and put it back in. To finish off the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and polish it with this stainless steel polish or cleaner. This is not my favorite product, but you guys know I like to use all my products until they're gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep using this until it's all done. And then I am also using my Grove Collab 
glass cleaner concentrate to clean the glass part of the microwave then moving back to the counters i'm just wiping down my coffee machine i did take out the part the little dish part to wash it in the sink but um i don't have to wash the entire thing because i actually had a spill yesterday so i washed it yesterday and before i put everything back i'm gonna go ahead and take care of everything and just clean everything so i took everything off my little basket and i am putting it back in and i just wanted to show you that candle because i found it at tj maxx for 6.99 uh, it is a white pumpkin candle soy blend which i guess is better for you and it just smells so good it makes my whole house smell if you follow me on instagram you know that i've been raving about it so i also wanted to share with you guys in case you don't follow me on instagram check it out are you closest tj maxx or marshall's the brand is everyday Lux, and you could thank me later <laughs> back to cleaning as you could tell i like to wipe everything down before i put it back on the counter just because the things laying around your counters tend to get that um greasy film from all the cooking so i make sure i wipe everything down before i put it back and then i move to the sink to take care of any dishes that might be there also some parts of my coffee machine my microwave cover as well as penelope's drying rack It always amazes me how dirty this little rack could get. I feel like the only thing I ever put in there is Penelope's clean bottles and stuff just to dry. But if you don't clean it often, it could get really nasty. Is anybody else with me on this? Like I just feel like it's just water there, but it could get really dirty if you don't clean it often. So if this is something that you guys never clean because you don't think it gets dirty check it out because that's what I used to think and it does get super dirty once the counters are done we're gonna go ahead and keep moving our way down and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the oven so for the oven door I've showed you guys this little mixture that I use that I love 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 so much I use some vinegar I just use the rest of the vinegar that I had left on the bowl you just put some vinegar in there and then I use the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner I put it in there and then I scrub it down with a sponge and I just let it hang out for a little bit so while that just hangs out there I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all the cabinets at the bottom again I'm just using my multi-surface cleaner and a microfiber towel and then I'll go back to finish off the oven. Once I'm done with the counters, I'll go back to the oven and give it a quick scrub down again. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and keep rinsing my sponge and wiping it down until I get rid of all the product. And then to finish it off, I'll just use my German chamois and the glass cleaner to finish it. This works so good, you guys, for any grease buildup that you might have in your oven. For the inside of my oven, which I'm not cleaning today, I use the Easy Off. I just put it in there and then I think I do on the settings the self-cleaning for the oven and that usually works pretty good but my oven has been good so i don't really do that very often and again to do the outside of the oven i'm just doing the same thing i did with the microwave just using the stainless steel cleaner and then the glass cleaner just to polish the outside of it by the way i am using my stainless steel cleaner with a regular towel this is not my german chamois it's just orange too so i just wanted to clarify that also have you guys ever used e-cloths because i've heard so many amazing things about them and i am dying to try them but i'm not sure where to get them or if they really do work so if you have used them let me know in the comments below okay so once i had the back area of my kitchen clean i definitely switched gears and i went to my pantry i really wanted to take care of my pantry before i finish off with my big island in my kitchen just because i'm gonna go ahead and empty out my entire pantry and set it on my island go through everything that needs to be tossed or that needs to be 
just organize and then put it back so I figure I would do this first before wiping down the island so what I'm doing is just taking everything off each shelf I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the shelf and then just put it back on I'm gonna go ahead and link my kitchen organization video here if you guys haven't checked it out I organize all my drawers all of my cabinets and my pantry and I am still using that organization system because it has worked so great for us um, so all I'm doing here is pretty much keeping the same system but just wiping down stuff and making sure that there is no food that is just laying in there because you guys know that sometimes we just have a bunch of food that needs to be thrown out that just sits there or empty bags empty boxes that tone doesn't toss so that's what i'm doing here i'm just going through everything but just putting everything back the way i had it the system has really worked for me so make sure you check out the video if you want to get some organization inspiration for your kitchen So I know I say this in all of my organization videos, which I do have a few if you guys want to check them out, but I really do think that cleaning or organizing things by sections makes life so much easier than if I just dump everything out because I just feel like that just really gets you overwhelmed and then there is less of a chance that you want to finish. So what I like to do is just always do it by sections empty one section at a time go through it and then put everything back before you move to the next section this always works so great for me so i definitely recommend doing it so the last part of the pantry is the bottom i like to take everything out and then just use my handheld vacuum to organize it i like to keep this cardboard box at the bottom just to lay things in it and keep it more organized this is one of those small cardboard boxes that we grabbed from Sam's Club. I just use it to put all of my paper towels and napkins in there. I just feel like it just keeps things a little more organized. Okay, so here's what the pantry ended up looking like. Nice and clean and decluttered. Okay, so to finish off the kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those dishes that I did before. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them away and then we are going to go ahead and clean the sink. Taking care of the sink area, I am just using sponge, soap and water to scrub it down. I'm also taking care of my caddy that holds all of my sponges and brushes. I'm washing my little tray that holds my soap, all of that good stuff. And usually to finish the sink, I will go ahead and polish it with some type of polisher stainless steel polisher but because i am cooking dinner soon i'm just gonna go ahead and skip that step To finish off with the sink, I'm using a little hack that I learned from Vassar Beauty. I think that's how you say her channel. I absolutely love her channel and if you don't follow her, you must. She's like huge, 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 but she has amazing cleaning hacks and one of them is to use rubbing alcohol to disinfect in your kitchen. It takes care of disinfecting and killing bacteria and again, it's super easy to use. I just put in a spray bottle, spray the faucet with it and then I just use a microfiber towel to wipe it down. So that's what I did with the faucet and then I moved on to cleaning my island and all I'm using for the island again is the multi-surface cleaner that I've been using and a microfiber towel and I am just wiping down the entire thing. And again, here on the island, I am 
doing the same thing I did with my counters, working from the top down. So now I am wiping down all the cabinets with the multi-surface cleaner and then I'm gonna go ahead and polish the front of my dishwasher and move on to the fridge. Okay, so usually during this deep cleaning, I will clean the inside of my fridge, which I absolutely hate. But thankfully, my mom was still here with us when I was doing this. So she took care of the inside of the fridge. She just didn't want to be filmed because she was wearing pajamas. And if you have a Hispanic mom, there is no way that she's going to be on camera in her pajamas. So <laughs> she cleaned the fridge and I didn't film it. But this is something I would definitely do when I am doing a deep cleaning. Thanks mom for cleaning the fridge. Um, so the only thing I'm doing here is using the stainless steel polisher just to polish the front of it. So once I'm done polishing the fridge, we are all done with this and we could go ahead and vacuum. I like to make sure that I vacuum the kitchen really good so I use my attachment just to get it in all the corners and cracks of the kitchen and around the baseboard area just because a lot of food tends to lay on there so I make sure I grab it all by using the smaller attachments. You guys know I love vacuuming, it's like my favorite part when it comes to cleaning but sometimes I wish that I was only vacuuming rugs because I feel like seeing those lines in the rug really bring me satisfaction but vacuuming the floors, unless they're like really dirty, it doesn't really bring me as much satisfaction. Am I crazy or do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay so to finish off of course we have to mop because it is a deep cleaning and mopping your kitchen is key because even if you don't see the floors being super dirty you always have to think that when you're cooking there's tons of food splattering everywhere and it's just something that needs to be done when you're doing a deep cleaning as usual i am using my little mixture of vinegar dish soap and multi-surface cleaner in my bucket and i love this make sure i feel like it really takes care of any grease or build up on your floors and of course i am using my spin mop because it is the only mop i will ever use again if you guys don't have one you must get one because it's amazing it's so easy to use you don't have to touch the mop you could throw the heads in the washer and it's just amazing so i am again taking care of all of the kitchen area just mopping around and that will be it Once I'm done mopping, the last thing I'm going to be doing is using my 7th generation disinfectant spray. It's kind of like a Lysol, but of course a green product. And I've shared this with you guys. I like to wipe down my trash can with this. I do it a couple times a week just because Penelope likes to throw things in the garbage and touch it all the time. So I like to make sure that I kill whatever germs that might be hanging there. And then I also went ahead and put a new trash can. And that is it for today. This is how my kitchen ended up looking. It's so great. I feel like this is a great way to keep your kitchen clean and keeping it from 
just getting super dirty I like to do this once a month like I mentioned so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you the motivation you needed to clean your kitchen please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye